in the country of Japan, east of Hiroshima, on the island of Okunoshima. Only a 15-minute ferry ride from the mainland, there are a thousand, if not more, extremely happy and friendly wild-roaming rabbits. Lovingly called Rabbit Island, it's now a tourist attraction. There's numerous viral videos showing visitors being swarmed by hordes of these fluffy, happy-go-lucky bunnies. The freely roaming wild rabbits, once speculated to be the descendants of bunnies that were used in chemical weapons testing in World War II, inhabit this place as the sole residence. Another theory is that the bunnies were released here by school children in the 1970s. There's no real answer as to how the rabbits came to be on this island. However, with no natural predators, they have the potential to continue to grow in numbers hand over fist. Even though no one's really sure exactly how or why the bunnies came to be sole inhabitants of the island, one thing is for sure. People are encouraged to visit this island and feed them, and the wild bunnies are more than happy to have visitors. In the Sido Inland Sea, Okunoshima is very remote, and it was actually removed from maps at one point in time. The island had been chosen with the intent to build secret facilities to develop and produce poison gas for chemical weapons. Although Japan was a signatory on the 1925 Geneva Protocol prohibiting chemical warfare, just two years later in 1927, a secret chemical weapons factory was built on Okunoshima. By the end of the World War, some six kilotons of mustard gas and tear gas were being made at this one factory. Some argue the island might not be completely safe, as there has never been any major decontamination of the whole island. It's rumored that there are several sealed locations on the island where workers reportedly bury gas when the war ended. There are many buildings still standing that remind visitors of the dark history of this place, but nowadays, most people stop by to see the bunnies. When the ferry docks, you're greeted by adorable, furry, and hungry bunnies. Visitors are encouraged to bring food to share with the bunnies, just not too much people food. As you walk further from the dock, and as you reach for the treat that you've brought, the bunnies will come running, ready to share love in exchange for a snack. Depending on the time of year, you may see even many, many, many baby bunnies waiting for a moment of your time as they're chilling, enjoying the island breeze in the shade. These are not domesticated bunnies, but they have become so used to humans that they may as well just be. They are wild, though. Trying to pick them up, hold them, or sneak them back to the ferry is strongly discouraged. It's just not a good idea. These are interesting things with JC.